100%. 100% means there's no way you could be wrong. Yeah, no you way you could be wrong. You're not asking any more questions. Exists. Yeah. You don't need any more evidence. No. You're closed minded on the position. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> because of this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit record, record, um, and then. Cool. So last time we talked about the Second Amendment. Um, normally when I have conversations about something that... Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Austin. Oh, I'm Ty. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, Austin. Would you be cool if we talked about something more supernatural? Sure. Okay, cool. So normally I, I really like, like to talk to people about like supernatural beliefs they might have, like karma, or, like the existence of a god, or like... Um, I talked to a guy literally for like an hour and a half about... What, is, what do you call it when you die and you come back again? Recarnation. Recarnation. So is there anything like that that you find compelling? Uh, karma, sort of, yeah. Karma? Yeah. Okay. What is it about karma that you find, like, really cool? Uh, I wouldn't say really cool, but, uh... Yeah, man. Every... But, uh, there's a lot of times where I see that, uh, someone do, some, uh, do something, the next thing you know, uh, someone else comes around the corner. Yeah? There's, like, uh... Often when I'm uh, alone and I'm just watching YouTube, I um, I often end up watching instant karma fails. Instant karma fails? Yeah. Okay. Does that do those videos inspire you to believe more that karma is actually real? Uh, in certain senses, yeah. How confident do you think karma is actually a thing right now? I think it's more of a now and then kind of thing. Mm. What goes around comes around. The it's more like the general sense of like yeah. put out good energy generally good energy will come back to you yeah do you think there's like a moving force that mitigates that to happen yeah really okay uh, that's God in, in ah. that sense okay okay would you mind if we talk about that for the sure. short of it um, which God are we talking about uh, the Christian God the God of Moses God of Abraham uh, for clarification um uh, would you say like the Mormon faith, Jehovah Witness faith, Baptist, Protestant, I, Catholic? I was I was raised a Methodist. Methodist. Does that mean you guys can rap? Because there's like really good <laughs> method rap. Have you known about the rapper named Method? No, uh, but but I do he's know good. That, he's but, really good. But what is funny is uh, you know about him. He's good. We have sorry, a group sorry. on our in our church called yeah? the Methodist Men, and uh -huh. on their coolers they have a short Meth Men. Oh no, that's not good, right? Well, yeah, so every time I look at their coolers, I just start bust out laughing when I read that's Meth hilarious. Men. Is is your faith in this God very sure, like absolute? Yes. How confident do you think that this God exists? Very. Uh, it's like say from like on a scale from zero to hundred, where zero is like no way this God exists. I don't even need evidence, and hundred percent is like I'm so close minded on the God existing, I'm not even like open to any more evidence. Like, what would you say is, like, I'm, I, those are two extremes. Jackhammer. Oh, don't terrify me, dude. This guy. Anyway. They're, they're building something over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, How I, confident would you say that you think your God's true? Or that... I am 100% confident that he exists. Okay. Would you mind if I clarify what you mean by 100%? So just want to make sure I'm not putting he, in words in my head. I believe that he exists 100%. 100% means there's no way you could be wrong. Yeah, no way you could be wrong. More questions. Yeah. You don't need any more evidence. No. You're closed minded on the position. Yes. Okay, okay. What got you to that high level of confidence? Well, every time I had a problem, I would go to him. Mm -hmm. I would, maybe the uh, problem wouldn't be resolved, but I felt better. And every time I had a problem and I didn't go to him for help I felt worse oh so it's just me like feeling better about myself yeah and I feel like uh, something out there was helping me mm. you have these really strong personal feelings yes that helped you confirm this yeah. belief would you and say that's the most important reason why you yeah or that is that the reason that got you up to that hundred percent well the Last reason it got me up to 100%, I was on a fall retreat with a Christian group on campus, CSF, if anybody's watching from University of Kentucky. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Shameless fall shout retreat. Out. Yeah. And uh, we were doing baptisms on the final night, mm -hmm. and it was really cold out, and uh, one of my buddies had his truck all lit up so we could see the lake where the baptisms were taken. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, during the last few baptisms, there was a presence over the crowd that nobody could describe. Like a really strong feeling. Right? Yes. Okay. And uh, 
You know how in the biblical story of where Jesus is baptized, where a dove comes down? Yes. We almost had that sense, but a it, talking but, dove came down. No. Oh, okay. No, okay. no, no it wasn't a talking. I'll just be like in, in the story, Twitter, Instagram. Get that. Get all that. Right, so, in the book, it's not a talking dove. It's a dove that comes down and a God's voice, kind of like an overhead. But you had this feeling. Yeah, we had this feeling, and uh, when it, when it was uh, cold out, the uh, we were getting some sort of water condensation, whatever, uh, rising from the water, like the steam of some of some sort. Mm. And uh, it was so cool. You had to be there to see it. Like, uh, we were seeing people uh, take uh, uh, the vow. Not really a vow, but saying that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting baptized. And they would come up, and everyone would go nuts. Wow. Can, and, I, throw out, can I ask you a quick yeah. question? You had given me, like, two really good... I just want to make sure these are what got you to 100%. Yeah. If you got a different set of feelings, or if the feelings weren't as strong, would that affect your confidence in any way? Probably. It would. So these Probably. are like the foundational things that are like really yes. important. May I ask you a question about yes. this? Is it ever possible to have a strong feeling about something and end up being wrong? Yes. If it's possible to have strong feelings about something and be wrong, or to have strong feelings and be right, if it's hey, not absolutely true all the time, what is actually getting you to that 100%? Somebody get her out of this Everyone bank. around me. What do you mean? Well, like, uh, uh, I have a group around me, and uh, we support each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, whenever somebody was in trouble, the other people would uh, take up slack and go to their aid. Mm. And uh, that's what called shift group. Sorry, another shout out. And uh, <laughs> you want to just plug them right now? No, we can do this after the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, whenever someone was having problems, say, uh, well, problems with the internet. Sure. And uh, we'd always uh, go to their aid. We'd pray for them mm. and uh, uh, say, we're with you. We're here for you. And uh, we won't leave you. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good, man. I'm wondering um, the reinforcement through the group. Is that one of the main reasons then that got you to your 100% confidence? Yes. Because I knew that if there wasn't a God that didn't care about me, mm. uh, he wouldn't have put those people in my life. Okay. Is it ever possible? I'm wondering, is it possible for a group of people who strongly believe in the same thing to be wrong? Yes. If that's a possibility, what's getting you to that 100%? Like, what's getting to the point where you know you absolutely can't be wrong? You don't understand what I'm asking? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It seems like you have a method that's not 100% reliable, but yet yeah, you have 100% yeah. confidence. And I'm wondering, yeah. what's I, I get, justifying that 100% confidence? Hey. Thank you. Off-camera guy over here. Cool. And I wouldn't mind talking to you afterwards. Uh, but it would be... And I, I don't mind talking to you afterwards, but I'm kind of one-on-one -on -one right now. Yeah. The, uh, is faith the reason that got you to your 100%? Yes. Uh, like, we always have... Of course, holidays. It's not a day you just where you get off from school. But uh, are you saying then, if you didn't have faith, you wouldn't be 100 percent confident? Probably yes. Okay. What do you mean by faith? I'm not really sure of the full definition, but I know what the basic definition. I of guess faith what is. I mean. What does it mean to you? Like, what does it speak to your heart when you have faith in something? It feels good that you believe in it, and. Uh, you believe in it with almost no doubt. Almost no doubt? Almost no doubt. Could there no be doubt. a little bit of doubt there? A little bit, but you still have a belief and a strong conviction. I'm probably not quoting faith correctly, though. The dictionary definition. I Who cares? So I always get weirded out when people throw out dictionary definitions because that's just what usages are. Yeah. Do you know you can find Moogle in the dictionary? What's Moogle? Exactly. It's the Harry Potter term for oh, non Oh, Muggle. Wizards. I'm, Muggle. Sorry, I'm not good. I'm not good. But yeah, like I find dictionaries are just like how we use words, but yeah. not what they mean intrinsically. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Um, I'm wondering then. Uh, so faith is what feels good. A little bit of doubt. Is it possible to have faith in something that's not true? Yes. Could you have faith in things that are true, though? Yes. If you could have faith in things that are true and not true, how do you determine which is true or not true? Well, there are many different religions, and they all have faith in their belief. Mm. So, in the end, one of them is going to be right, but we won't know until the end. Is it possible that none of them are right? 
Yes. Okay. In a strictly human sense mm -hmm. of our thinking. Because... Uh, Is faith a good way to determine which one of them are right? For example, if I looked at a group that had faith that Vishnu existed, and a group that believed that a flying spaghetti monster existed, and one that believed a volcano supreme god existed, <laughs> Zenu, and then the other one that had, like Christianity, they all have faith. Is but faith a evidence. good way? Ah, so evidence is surpasses faith. Well, you need evidence to support. And that's what gets you. That's to your faith. interesting. So you you don't you can't do it with faith alone. You need evidence. Is what yes. you're saying. What is the evidence that got you to 100%? Uh, evidence that's from the Bible that was supported by real, uh, uh, not real, but uh, uh, archaeological evidence. Okay. Archaeological, I pronounced that wrong. Archaeological evidence from the Bible. And then real archaeological evidence. Do we have, so do we have archaeolog archaeological evidence that supports the existence of a God? Of a God? Uh, let's see. Not too long ago, a few years ago, James Cameron went on an expedition to disprove the existence of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But uh, he ended up finding a grave of a man uh, with uh, written in Arabic, cousin of Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. I meant like a Not supernatural Arabic, but being. Aramaic. I meant like a supernatural being. Of a supernatural being. Well, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Who knows? Well, 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 I'm biased to say that. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, we, uh, but anyway, uh, the white Jesus from the TV shows, that's not true. Don't, he, it was don't. in an Arabic nation. I'm more focused on, do we actually have archaeological evidence that supports the existence of the supernatural God, specifically the Christian God? And if we don't right no, now... Not, not that I know of off the top of my head, but I'm sure there is. Are you confident? Is that possible existence that we're not sure about getting you to your 100%? confidence like are you justified at 100% confident right now over the idea that there could be evidence to support your confidence at this point I'm confident that he exists mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if it's a he I'm not sure if it's classified as a he but mm -hmm. I know that a God exists whether that be however the Methodist preach the Baptist or whatever there is a God out there there are some people who say... That God doesn't exist. There are definitely some people who say that. But yeah. there are also some people that say, I don't know if a God exists or not. From those three groups, the groups that say God does exist 100%, to the groups that say God doesn't exist 100%, to people who say, we don't know which way, what could you tell a person who says they don't know that, that would sway them as far as evidence towards one side more than the other? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's a group that's in between that's not but making that's, the claim But that is way. the hardest part of evangelicalism, mm. is convincing those who are not sure or those who don't believe. Mm. Uh, one of uh, the guys I knew in high school was a diehard atheist. What's an and, atheist mean? Uh, they do not believe in a uh, god or uh, immortal being mm. that rules over everything. Mm. Funny enough, a theist is uh, someone who believes. A theist, <laughs> or just with a theist. Mm. Do you think an atheist believes there's no God? There are those who are questioning, but uh, atheists don't believe that God is real. Mm. What do you call someone who doesn't believe because they don't know if God exists or not? Questioning. I'm, okay. I'm not sure there is a. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual term for it is, but I'd say uh, they're questioning their belief. Okay. Okay. For a person who's questioning their belief, what? kind of evidence would you provide to shift into more towards your side versus any other? Do you have like a reliable way to get to your conclusion? None that are based off of uh, evidence from today's physical world. Mm. Most of the evidence I can provide are stories from the Bible backed up by a little archaeological evidence. Like, is that enough to justify 100% confidence in a claim or in a, in a belief? Could, for example, uh, someone... Well, you can't base your belief off of just what you can see in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what's that saying? I'm probably going to get this wrong. Seeing is believing or uh, seeing is not believing. I don't know what it is. Uh, but... Oh... <laughs> There's a line from uh, Polar Express that I love the best. That movie is super scary. That scary. is Uncanny Valley from the floor <laughs> up. CGI Tom Hanks. 
terrifies me. Oh yeah, but the line was, some of the most real things in the world are the things we can't see. Okay. Um, what would be a reliable way to get you to 100%? If it's not the feelings that you have, because we agree that feelings can go either way. Well, or, I'm not the best one to talk about that because I'm just your average believer. I want to I want to talk to you specifically. You can consider yourself whatever you want. But like, we know that personal experiences could be right or wrong. Faith could point to the wrong place. You could have feelings that point yes or no to truth or not truth. Um, and the evidence that we have may not be substantial enough to support a supernatural deity. So then, what is a good way to get to 100%? There is no quick, reliable way to get there. It's just your own personal journey. Can I throw something out at you? Yeah. If I had a coin, right, and I flip that coin, it's not a trick coin. It's still flipping in the air, by yeah. the way. It's not a trick coin. It's not magical. Anyway, I caught it. Okay, it's on the back of my hand. Let's say it's like a quarter or something. All right. I don't know if it's heads or tails right now. Do you know if it's heads or tails? No. Okay. So we both don't know if it's heads or tails right now. Yeah. We can go to science and say, is this heads or tails? And they can flip like a thousand coins. And come out 50 50 but yeah. it's not conclusive i actually did an experiment with that yeah yeah okay. i could have very personal feelings that it's heads but it may not necessarily be heads i could have a personal experience that i communicate with like tails coins that are tail side up but that wouldn't i know a lot of flies here but yeah, that wouldn't necessarily are. make that more heads than tails i could have faith that it's heads but it yeah. wouldn't necessarily guarantee that it's heads in this situation where i don't know if it's heads or tails in my opinion I feel like I don't know isn't just an option, but the best answer until we have more conclusive evidence. What do you think about that? That is the human way of thinking about it. But we're trying, are we not humans? We are humans, but okay. but we're trying to describe it using human logic. Hmm. But the what's a more reliable way than human logic to get to a conclusion? As of this point, nothing, because we don't know. If we don't know, if we both agree we don't know, would I be justified at one hundred percent confidence that it's heads? No. Are you justified at 100% confidence that your claim's true? In the human sense, no. In the uh, human way of thinking, no. If you find a better method than human thinking, please let me know. And go ahead and take a card. Yeah. But Austin, I really appreciated the chat. Yeah. Did you appreciate it? Yeah. yeah I, cool. I like talking to people because the only time <laughs> I actually have discussions in my head. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Uh, check out my channel. All I'm trying to do is just have really cool conversations with people. Yeah, about I, I was really checking it out while you were setting it up. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I got a Twitter as well. Five minute chat. You want to try it out? Five minute You've chat. You've been waiting for a while. You want to try it out? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, we, we, were, we, were, we were talking for what, 20 minutes? <laughs> okay, okay. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate um, talking to you. Someone that I that we can actually have a conversation and not just yell back and forth across exactly. the Exactly.